Hello again. This is Spirit Journey. This is going to be my my fifth audio of the day. Yes, it is Friday, November eighth, twenty nineteen, and it's now about nine o three a.m. in the morning. I I made mention in my last audio about how jails are created to put indigenous peoples in there and that their energy be harvested slash slavery. You know, I think this arconic influence, not only does it affect, you know, the, the, the society and people getting arrested and harassed, it also can happen, I think, in your family. Any of you live in families that weird things happen? You're the black sheep of the family. You try to do good, but you're mistreated. You're not liked. You're like an orphan in your own home, amongst your family. Things are being done to you. You're being abused physically, sexually. Well, you know, maybe the archons are living amongst you in your household. Some of the satanic things that could happen to people, to to children, or even spouses that abuse one another. You ever wonder why? Why this maltreatment? Well, maybe it could be arconic influences. These beings, these low energy beings that attach itself to families And sometimes the same trend happens from one generation to the next generation and so on and so on. The same type of things. And even when you move, let's say you move to a new community. Let's say you marry someone outside of your group just to get away from the generations of whether it be incest or physical, other types of physical abuse. Maybe it is arconic influences, these low energy things that live amongst families that influence you, that could speak onto your mind and influence your behavior. They can whisper in your ear and say, oh, you're worthless, you're no good, you're ugly, all these things. And they tell you that. And they make the other person in your family tell you those things. Why? Why even do that? And it's like the more they do it, and and let's say you start to cry, and you fail in school, they seem to get off on that. They don't get better. They don't comfort you. They continue. This may be because of the archons or some other type of low entity that is exploiting the situation. And again, depression, sadness, anxiety, hate, fear are all components of energy that they feed on. And so they continue. And they take a domain over your family and say, hey, we we like to work with this family because they have a disposition to be influenced that way and they're overreactive. So we're going to work with this genetics and tap on their energy. Just think about that, folks. If, If this describes you, if you live in a household or even a community that is irrational, that is in a depressed state, 
that is sapped of its vitality, perhaps you have an archon living in your household and in your community. This is just food for thought. Take care, guys, and thank you for listening, and thank you for supporting my channel. Please feel free to comment below, share this audio with friends and family members, and to donate to my channel, my uh, PayPal account. Just click on the button that's on the top right of my uh, banner of my channel, Spirit Journey. Follow the prompts. Any amount will be appreciated. Thank you again. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.